Hey y'all, I'm back with another book haul. It is July. Who can believe it is already July? Um, so I'm going to start off because I kind of went crazy. You know me. Anyway, I got music. So this one is um, hymns. Um, this one is Peter, Mo, Mary, or wow. Peter, Paul, and Mary. It's actually one of my parents' favorite bands. So I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to love this. Um, and then I got just a collection of greatest hits because I just love getting stuff like this. Um, I got soft rock favorite hits because who can resist such great music, right? And then I got this because I love Star Wars. I really love Star Wars and Star Trek and anything sci-fi. I just couldn't resist. It's like all about the technology, which is like, if you ever realize how much technology is inspired by um, sci-fi, it's kind of crazy. Like, for example, um, shoot, having music on a cloud or music on your computer that's just a data stream, like, that is definitely from Star Trek. It's from when da um, Data, wow, that was gonna be bad, had it on an episode. It was so cool, just like hearing where people get their inspiration from. And I just wanted to see it and be able to be inspired myself and just kinda know what kind of technology could be in our future, I guess. Um, the next one I got was Among the Red Stars. I thought it was interesting. It's um, a novel about a woman, um, anyway, that flies, which I'm always pro, like, yay! Like, from older times, I'm like, they're totally understated of how powerful women were, and I just want to, like, always read about that, and I always am inspired by those. So the next one I got was, actually, this one is called Rosebud. It's inspired by The Phantom of the Opera, and I love The Phantom of the Opera. It's one of my favorite all-time books and plays and movies. Like, it's just brilliant, and so I was like, why not? Um, Wink of the Poppy Midnight, I have to admit, the only reason I got this is because it's got a pretty cover. It just looks so pretty. I love the colors and everything that was inspired by it. So, um, it's like, who knows? But I, you know, I'll read it eventually. Um, so this one is called Zachary, when Zachary Beaver came to town. And I thought it was like a little interesting, I don't know, it kind of seems like kind of a hickey, like hickey country book. And I'm like, I love country books. They're always like just full of like real life and I always find that great um next one I got was this is totally not in order apparently um bonding to bonding the escape escaping codependency and embracing biblical love basically it's just a psychology book because I love psychology and I can't resist and the next one is black window forever red I just was like oh my gosh I can't believe they have this on clearance it was on clearance who would ever want to not get that? Like, come on. It's like, Black Widow is, like, one of the craziest, like, she's the dominant woman in the whole Marvel thing. The whole Marvel movie series. And it's just like, oh my gosh. Like, she's so brilliant. Like, and it, the funny thing, I hadn't heard, I'm a super comic book person. And I've heard of most of them. But I hadn't heard of Black Widow until they started doing the movies. And, um, which is funny because I'm like I, I know like the obscure ones that you don't really hear about and I didn't know about her and I was just like oh my gosh I have to change this and so I've been like catching up and reading more about her anyway um this one is women in the new testament because I think like you know me inspired by women inspiring stories by women so I have a love hate relationship with John Steinbeck he is brilliant this is of mice and men apparently I don't own this which is kind of funny but Cause he's brilliant but he's also I don't know it's kind of just emotional and I like I love emotional stories but it's like I can only take so much and so much of a time anyway uh next one is the Underground Railroad I just was like this is kind of like a history book and I was like oh my gosh that is so cool and it just looks great and I love reading about like history and stuff like that um so Anyway, totally ranting. Um, next thing is The Shoemaker's Wife. I've definitely, like, looked at this several times and I was like, maybe I should get this. Maybe I should get this. It was on clearance. It was on clearance. So I was like, oh my god, I have to get this. Um, next thing is The Last Camellia. It's a novel. 
definitely got it because it was pretty. That is literally sometimes how I pick books if I haven't heard of them and they just look great. I'm like, oh my god, that must be great because very rarely is it not great. Um, next thing I got was The Pilgrim's Progress. Um, mainly because I like to pick up like extra copies of this because I really love this story. Just being able to let go of your burdens and how people walk through life with it's just such a brilliant story. And um, I was just like, oh my god, I cannot resist that. Um, so then I got this because I'm a huge person on psychology. The Road Less Travel. I totally did not see this picture because I just I looked at the front cover and I grabbed it and put it in the thing and I did not even look at the picture. Who knows what I was thinking. Anyway, um, just a psychology book about seeing um, The Road Less Traveled and just I will probably be reviewing this soon because I'm really getting through psychology books right now um, because I just love them. Um, the next thing I got is totally because I'm a guilty pleasure and I couldn't resist is um, Grey's Anatomy. Um, totally, totally just about anatomy, just because I like, I'm always like curious about the body and I'm always like, why does that muscle hurt? What, it, what triggers that? What, it, what's like, I'm just so, it's so intriguing to me. So I was just like, oh my gosh, I couldn't resist getting it. Um, so the last thing that I got is actually the happiest thing that makes me, it's the graphic novel series of Twilight. Like, look at that thing fit together. Um, totally had underrated, underrated graphic novels until I read, um, uh, Melissa Myers one on, um, Wires and Nerves. And I was just like, oh my God, these are brilliant. Why have I never done this before? And I saw these for Twilight and I was like, oh my God, I have to get these paid full price everything because I just couldn't resist because I love Twilight. Anyway, I hope you all, um, enjoyed this book haul. Um, and subscribe. Y'all have a great day.